<laughs> that zombie's wearing chain armor. Huh? Oh crap. Ah! Oh. 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 Oh, another formula. Hey everyone, this is GamerHard13, and welcome back to Let's Play Tech It. So in the last episode, we hung out with Skrike and Zero, and in this episode, we're by ourselves for now, but we can definitely get some more stuff done. So first of all, I forgot to say, if you have the Philosopher's Stone, which I'll just show you how to make it really quick. Philosopher's Stone. It takes a diamond, four redstone, and four glowstone. So if we have one of those, we point it at an animal, and we press the R button. Well, first of all, it seems like it's trying to mess up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this is supposed to turn animals into different animals. Let's try it on this sheet, maybe. Hmm. Well, it's, it's being a little quirky on the server. It usually works on single player very well, actually. But due to that, I was able to change an animal into a mushroom. So now I have my food of choice. I have a mushroom stalled in my house over here. See? There's my mushroom. And all you need to do to get food from a mushroom is random stuff. They put their mailboxes all by my house, I see. What are they doing? Those sillies. Although I have to say the effects are really cool inside. Wait, what's in mine? Just a bunch of rose petals. Okay! <laughs> well, I didn't get those, so whatever, I guess. So let's see, we got our friend the mushroom here. We've got some food here. And today we are going to make us an alchemical chest. So an alchemical chest is a diamond, a chest, two stone, two iron, and one of every covalence dust. I think we've got all that. So let's see. Grab a couple stone. I've got the two iron and the two diamonds. Do you have any more iron? Good. I don't need that for now, though, I guess. Um, one of every covalence dust. Bam. And I like to use this button up here to organize it alphabetically. It works really well, actually. Hmm. Don't see any chests in there. Or in there. I think there's some wood in here. So we can just grab a couple of these. Put this rubber wood away. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we can make ourselves a chest. So let's see. Just put this all like that. Put that there. That goes there, the iron goes there, the stone goes there, and one of each dust goes up here. Bam, now we've got an alchemical chest. So that is awesome. Now we can, I guess we can plop that down just over here for now. Alchemical chests have much more space and have some special properties added to them. For example, if we make a talisman of repair, which I'm just going to make one of those right now anyway. You need a little bit of sugar cane, some string, and a couple of each covalence dust, which is down here. At least I think that's it. Let's just check just to make sure. Talisman of repair. There it is. Yep, just like that. So that's pretty easy. So we can just close that out. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, I got a brand new skin that I made the other day, because I'm pretty into steampunk, I think it's really cool. So, I made this skin right here, and I hope you like it. I like it a lot, it's fun. Yeah, but anyway, let's work on the talisman of repair, so, let's lay these across like that, we'll get paper, one paper and two string, <coughs> and then... One of each dust. I don't think the order actually matters. Or may actually, maybe it does. Like that? Yep, okay, there we go. Talisman of Repair. So normally, the Talisman of Repair it repairs your items, but uses that covalence dust. You have to have it in your inventory. But if it's in an alchemical chest, you can just put it in there, and you'll see the wonders of it slowly building up its durability again. So if you look really closely, yep, you can see the helmet just went up a bit. Boots did. So yeah, we can do that. 
Might as well put that stone one in. That was fast. See, that one repaired itself really quickly. How about the sword? The sword should repair itself pretty quickly, too. Well, yeah. But anyway, that's all awesome. Do we have a flint and steel around here? Yeah, we do. We can fix that up, too, I guess. Repairing stuff is easy and fun. Bam. Repaired. And... I guess we can just leave that to do its work for a little while. Um, that was down here. Put that away. Gonna need a little bit of food in a bit, but it's not a big deal right now. Got a zombie over there, actually. How much is my sword repaired? It's repaired pretty well. How about you, foul beast? Yeah. There we go. Okay, well that's all fun. Now, I was doing a little bit of off-screening earlier, just messing around with, with Zero and Nagini and Skrike, and I realized something. These waypoints have some funny stuff going on with them. So, let's see, do I have all the items with me? Uh, I need a little bit of dirt so I can build. There, now I've basically got all of it. Now, what I was trying to say is, um, I was looking at my waypoint, sort of over here, and I realized along the edge... You can, you can see you can see through chests and stuff. See if you look along the edge, you could see into my other room with the with the alloy furnace and stuff. So I was, I was wondering, hmm, I wonder what else does that. So first of all, I realized at least for moose rooms, it works the same on mobs, making mobs invisible. It makes water over there completely invisible. I also tested it with ice, which you can make ice if you right-click water with the philosopher's stone. Um, it gets rid of the particle effect on torches. If you look right here, see if I can get it right. See? It gets rid of the particle effect on torches. And then I wanted to test it a whole bunch to see if we could potentially use it to find a secret in the game. So let's see. I've got all that. I've got my door. So what I did is I built just a little bit of a thing here. And I put down a picture like that built up here and then this is the hard part you gotta break these blocks and then place the door quickly before the painting disappears and as you see it disappeared pretty quickly there see so you gotta be careful let's try that again oh gosh there we go that was weird okay so place down the two dirt again we need to get a two by two painting there we go. Okay. That should be fine. You know, I'm just going to sleep. Get rid of the monsters for now. Hmm. You know, we're fine for now. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay. I'm back, everybody. There we go. Now we're running much smoother. Just need to turn off a couple applications. So like I was saying, if we break these blocks really quickly, put a door there, that painting's not going anywhere. Now, if you didn't know, you can walk through paintings, so I'll just show you by example. We can open this door, and bam, walk right through a painting. Now what I noticed that is cool is, not only that, you can look through paintings, and you can look through signs, even when they say random crap on them. So let's take a look through the waypoint. See, you can see all the way through that, and you can see the door through the sign and through the painting. So I thought that is just a really cool thing, and we could use that sort of as a, a secret finder if we wanted to. So that was just one fun thing I noticed. So we can just get rid of this for now. Mine up this dirt here. There we go. How's our talisman of repair doing? Okay, sweet, all of our armor is completed. That was nice. Just plump that back on. There we go. Now the other thing I wanted to make is I wanted to work more on my roof. So to do a roof, I was going to make a handsaw. And a handsaw is three sticks, two iron, and two of a gem. I prefer diamonds because they last longer. So now we just take this, bam, 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 two iron and two diamonds, and that makes us a handsaw. Now the big question is what to use for wood. I was thinking of potentially 
using rubber wood for my roof. So if you look at this, you can you can't really cut it that way. But if we turn one into can we cut it this way? Okay, but if we turn it into wooden planks and then try to cut it, you see it can make different kinds of slabs that way. Not this way though. So we can try cutting it up this way. Now we can make them even thinner, or we can cut them this way and make slab strips. I'm thinking let's make them one more thinner. Okay, we've got those. And we can make panel strips. And we can do a few other things. But if we want to um, make them normal again, we just put them next to each other and we make slabs. So you can, you know, mix and match a whole bunch of random stuff. And you can you just place them every other way. It shows you, you know, a little apparatus of how to place them. You know, I do think I want one one thinner for that. So let's make a few more. That should be good. 60 of that. Got that. Got that. And... There we go. Okay. Now we're getting a roll on things. Let's see. There we go. Ah! My handsaw. I need that later. Okay. So I do this right, I could make a nice little roof in here. So let's see how we can do this. We could start it on the edge like that. Or I could just make a little balcony up here. I'm really not totally sure yet. You can go every which way. Place it all around like that. Nope. Placed it backwards there. You gotta be careful though, because it can be pretty finicky how it wants to place. Seems we're doing okay here though. I do want to have a door over here, so we can leave that for now. Can place this the other way. Oh, we can. You know, that looks quite nice actually. So let's just do that. Have a little countertop up here. Not that one. Can we place it on here? Yep. Looks a little different though, but it looks nice. So let's see, there we go. Sort of yeah, points out all the different lines on the wood you can see. See it leaves a little apparatus, you can have it in the edges, place it on the center, then it just goes flat. <clears throat> And I'll just do the rest of them, and then we can get rid of the excess. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, this is going to look so nice. I'm really excited for this house. But I haven't really told the other people much yet, but not only did I make this Victorian skin for steampunk, but I also decided I really, really want to make a Victorian house for my actual house house. This is just going to be sort of my laboratory area, but I'm going to have an actual house probably on the very top of this mountain. It's going to be wonderful. Let's see, we can just get that off, and this one and that one. And how is this looking so far? Let's check it out. Just head down here. How's it look? Yeah, that actually looks pretty nice. I like that. Now we could also, you know, use it for random decorations here. We could you know, set up a little fence here or something. Like that. Now I don't want this one up here. Looks a little silly. There we go, but, you know, we can, like, set up a little wall like that, I guess. Like that. And then it looks normal from one side, and on the other side, you know, it's not. It's got a little pocket there. Oops. Yes, Miss Mushroom? How are you? I think she's doing fine. We need to give her a name, though. <coughs> uh. And this one here. Not sure what to do with this one here yet, actually. Maybe we should just leave that off. There we go. That's looking nice. So, we need to get rid of that extra one right there. And then we can just, you know, sort of do our thing. Let's just break that one. There we go. Okay, oh, that's looking nice. We could also, I guess, put a few around here and you know, set up some windows. 
Nope, not that one. There we go. Make some nice little windows there. Right here. Nope. But actually, maybe. Let's look on this side to do that kind of stuff. Ah, waypoint, you're getting in my way. It's doing its job too well now. There we go. How's that look out here? Now that looks pretty nice, actually. Besides the change in wood color. You know, I need to find an axe now. Do I have an axe somewhere? I don't. I don't think I have an axe somewhere. I might have to build a new one. So let's just grab another piece of wood. Quickly make an axe. Well, you know... I forgot something else. If you're holding the Philosopher's Stone and you press C, it opens a crafting table for you, so that's all awesome, and we can do that, and then you have a crafting table wherever you go, and you don't have to place it down. So we've got that. I'll grab just a few more diamonds. Never hurts to have a diamond axe. The only thing that can be a little bit quirky about the Philosopher's Stone is if you use the stone in its own crafting table, it can get a little silly sometimes. Usually it works, though. Let's just get rid of these few here, all along the front side at least. Got that one. We got this all here. There we go. Okay, this is gonna look so nice when it's done. I want it to sort of look, you know, fancy. So, you know, let's let's go in here and let's let's mix some of these together again make some wider ones too it'll be nice okay so we got all that set up there we can finish the rest of the room here you know let's actually put two windows here that'll be nice to put a couple windows right in this area <clears throat> can put another one of these here, so it looks like another block. Same on this side. There we go. Oh, that is looking nice. Can take that all over there. Get rid of these two. There we go. I guess we can also put them back here so it gives the illusion that they're full blocks. Not that one. There we go. Oh, this is fun. I like working with the facade. There we go. So we can eventually put some glass there. It looks really cool on this side. What else can we put over here? We can sort of put, you know, some some random blocks like that, I guess. Some random half slabs. that. Hmm. Where else can we put them? We can put them like that. More like that, you know. I'll work a little more on this later, but I'm liking how it is so far. It's going to be really nice once it's all done. So for now, I guess we can just, you know, combine all these again. One extra. Scary noises. Now we've got back to a few full planks there. Can this turn into anything? Turn into a triple panel. That's weird. I don't know what I'd want with a triple panel. Oh, that's really weird. I like that, though. So I guess we can just put those away for now. And we can put away the fun waypoint stuff. This extra crap here. Calm down. Mushroom, calm down. Now, we also might want to make a condenser. So a condenser is an alchemical chest with a few things added to it. Four diamonds, four obsidian. <clears throat> so I'll have to take out the talisman of repair. I do want to make another alchemical chest, so I guess we can do that first. So, need a couple stone. Need another diamond. Another one of each. And two more iron. Like that. 
Oh, I forgot to grab another chest. That'll be easy. Just use our awesome philosopher stone crafting bench. Make another chest right up here. Bam. Diamond. I didn't grab the super nice alchemical dust, I guess. Covalence dust, whatever. There we go. Now I've got it all. So it all goes up here. Two stone. Two iron. Another diamond. And another chest. Now we can grab all but one obsidian. And we can grab four more diamonds. And with that, we will be able to make an energy condenser, which takes the energy value, like this is 64 EMC, this is 8192, and it can transform things into other things. So, bam, now we've got an energy condenser. You see, it looks quite a bit different from an alchemical chest. Can put the talisman of repair back in there. And this is the layout of an alchemical chest, or of a covey of an energy condenser. <laughs> So we put the item we want to condense up here in the top left, sort of alone slot. We put the fuel, I guess, in the, in the spot of inventory, all the things we want to turn into whatever's in the top one. And it fills this gauge up, and it keeps transforming stuff into other stuff. So, for example, let's say I've got, uh, I don't know, I've got 45 cobblestone, and I want to make some more smooth stone, so I... Take one smooth stone with me, take some cobblestone with me, and all I gotta do is put the cobblestone in the fuel, put the stone in the thing, and luckily it's a one for one transfer, so it just turns all stone and cobblestone, vice versa. Now you can do that with things that are more expensive. For example, I could put a diamond in there and then put enough inventory to get 8,192 EMC. I don't have to use stone, I can use things more valuable like, you know, gold or other ores and stuff like gold is 2048 so if I had four gold in there that would make one diamond or nickelite is 128 redstone is 64 glowstone is 384 all this random stuff like that so you know you can do quite a bit of different things there so otherwise we've got a few more things we need to make soon we need to make something that actually gives us power so I was thinking we could make some solar panels Oops, not cola. I don't need any soda right now. Solar panels. Now, these are the, the red power solar panels, these flat ones, but we need to make a normal one like this. So we need a generator, two electronic circuits, three glass, and three coal dust. We get coal dust from macerating coal. Where is it? There. If we macerate coal, we get a coal dust. And generator, use an RE battery, refined iron, iron furnace... Electronic circuits. Okay, that's all easy. So let's just take that out for now. Like that. Do we have any more? Do we have any more copper ingots around here? Good, we do. Let's see. We can grab some of that. Grab some rubber. Like that. There we go. Before that, we're gonna need some more refined iron. So wait, is that no? That's silver. Okay. Well, let's use our electronic furnace then. Bam. Now we've got this all set up pretty nicely. Our bat box is using up energy. Our generator has absolutely no power, but that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still getting a lot of work done here, so that's all good. But I guess next time we can work on some more solar panels. So I guess that wraps up this episode of Let's Play Tech It. Remember to like and favorite if you enjoyed the video. If you have a question, comment, or idea, please leave a comment in the comment section below. This has been GamerHeart13. Thanks for watching. Stay excellent, my friends.